In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect your FR Sky transmitter, any type of transmitter of the FR Sky, matter of fact, any transmitter on the planet, uh, to any simulator on the PC. Sounds pretty awesome. Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect your FR Sky transmitter, any type of transmitter of the FR Sky, matter of fact, any transmitter on the planet, uh, to any simulator on the PC. Sounds pretty awesome. Well, it is. So let's begin talking about what do we need in order to have this work. And it's very simple. All you need is a transmitter, a receiver, and a flight controller. So, or just a already built quadcopter that you have. Now, for example, I have my quadcopter here. And what is what has to be done is it has to be already bound to your transmitter and configured correctly into beta flight where you actually see the uh, transmitter's input into in the beta flight receivers tab. I'll show you what I mean in a bit. Now, another thing that's very important is that the flight controller must be able to power on the receiver when it's connected via USB. Now, some flight controllers do not power up your receiver uh, when connected just by USB. However, in this case, uh, it boots up just fine. So I just plug in the USB. I take a look at the LEDs on the receiver. They're turning on, so that's perfect. So let's go ahead and see what we need to do. First, obviously, you need to just connect your quadcopter to the PC. And after that, we're going to jump into beta flight, make sure our transmitter is bound. And again, this will work on anything that is basically working on your quadcopter and is configured into beta flight to just work, you know, your quadcopter that you fly every day. So turning it on, I could totally see my uh, receivers LED. So that means this flight controller does power up my receiver with a USB connection, which is awesome. So now let's go ahead and take a look what we need to do on the PC. All right, guys, so first thing you wanna do is just connect your quadcopter to the PC and boot up your transmitter. So I've already done that, and it, my quadcopter is on COM15 right here. So what you wanna do is you wanna connect, okay? So we're connected, you go to your receivers tab and just move your transmitters you know, input and seeing if it's working, and mine is working. See, I'm moving my throttle, so here everything is perfect. That's what I mean by configured. And uh, if you have a working quadcopter, that, that's it. You know, you don't need to do this step, but it's nice to check. So everything is working here. Now, what do we need to do? We need to go download a software called VJoy and then another plugin created by a guy named Cleric K, which is an awesome guy that'll enable you to play your simulators by just connecting your quadcopter to the PC and using any transmitter. I'm talking about any transmitter, FR Sky, Fly Sky, Spectrum, whatever, as long as the flight controller can boot the receiver through USB. Now, if it does not, what you can do is obviously you have to remove your props and connect a battery to your quadcopter while it's connected to the PC and it'll work just fine. So that's all said and done. So now let's go ahead and check the softwares that we need to download. All right, guys. So the first thing we want to do is uh, you want to go ahead and go to the first link. It's called VJoy. I have it linked down below. So let's do this together this time. What you want to do is you want to go to this download button, ignore everything down here. You don't need that. Just go to this one. It'll open a new page for us. And we just wait for the download to start and go ahead. It'll start downloading here. And then what you want to do is run, save, or whatever. Just run it. And now we're just going to run it here. And now it's asking me, do you want to allow changes? Yes. And you'll see the page come up now. All right. So you're going to be treated with something like this. Next, next, finish. And just wait for it. Now, after it finishes, I do highly recommend you reboot your PC just so you save yourself headache and some time. Because sometimes, you know, some PCs need a reboot every now and then. And right now, this is what it's doing. It's just uh, installing the drivers. VJoy successfully installed. Beautiful. Next thing you want to do is you want to go here, and we're going to download the VJoy serial feeder here. However, this is compressed file, so you're just going to just uncompress it. If you don't know how to uncompress or unzip a file, just Google it. It's very simple. All right, guys. So once it's uncompressed, you should see these four uh, files in the VJoy serial feeder.
Now, what we want to do before we open this software is we want to go ahead and connect our quadcopter. Okay, so my quadcopter is connected and you want to go ahead and boot your transmitter. So that's all set and done here. So let's go ahead and open this software here. We should be greeted with a page like this. Now, previously, if you've been watching the channel, I showed you how to set up iBus. And now what you want to do is you want to go to multi we right there, that protocol and make sure VJoy instance is one. That means the VJoy uh, software did install correctly. So uh, let's just clarify something. Now, if you do the same method where you connect a quadcopter to control uh, inside the simulator, uh, even if it's fly sky, FR sky, whatever, connect it to set up the protocol as multi we the ibus if we're connecting an ibus receiver to an arduino or an ftdi so you don't need that so if you're connecting a quadcopter go to the multi we protocol next thing you want to do is you want to go to the correct com port which is com 15. all right so that's great and let's connect and see what happens okay well that's perfect so it didn't allow us why didn't it allow us because we forgot to disconnect the beta flight so let's disconnect the beta flight close beta flight and now we're com 15 correct everything's correct multi we connect look we have 18 channels and here's our update rate that is awesome so basically our just our quadcopter is connected to the pc and that's it so this is just absolutely insane here. Uh, good job, Cleric. You are just insanely awesome. He's also working on the SBUS protocol where you'll be able to connect the SBUS to an Arduino. It'll be a lot faster also. So now what do we need to do? Now, if you've watched the previous videos or not, what we need to do is we need to add four axes for roll, pitch, throttle, and yaw. And this is very simple. All we got to do is press add axes, channel one, X axes. Let's just take a look which axes this is. This is roll. Now it does not matter what it is, okay? It's just all we need is the first four channels. Now we need to go ahead and add another axis, set channel two, and then go to the Y. And then another axis, channel three, and then RX. And then add another axis, channel four, and then, oh, sorry, Z. It doesn't matter what you put here, just use the first four, just they have to be different and make sure you got all four channels. So I'm gonna go ahead and just double check my transmitter that if the gimbals are the one that's being, um, registered here so okay so channel four is my throttle here okay channel three is my yaw and my roll is channel one and my pitch was channel two it does not matter as long as they're all just you know doing stuff here you're good to go now let's go ahead and save this we're going to say fr sky or quad whatever save it now you want to save it because you don't want to do this every time you open up so it'll just be ready from now on so if i just close this and i could redo this as you can see, everything is already laid out. All we got to do is just press connect and then you jump into your flight simulator. So let's go ahead and jump into liftoff now and seeing how to set this up. Now, don't close this program here and uh, just open up the simulator you want to play with. For example, I'm going to show you how to set it up on the liftoff simulator. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys. So right now we're in the liftoff simulator and everything is connected. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to options. And then you want to go to controls and then you want to go to controller. Now we just wait for it to load here. And like I mentioned, again, this will work on any transmitter that is already working on your quadcopter, which is pretty insane. All right. So it detected the VJoy virtual stick. Perfect. Now what we want to do is we want to go to calibrate. All right. And then we go ahead and click start calibrating. Now it's telling me to move all of my gimbals in all axes. Okay. So that's perfect. Now it's telling me to center everything. So I'm going to go ahead and center everything. It's just awesome. My, my, my quadcopter is connected to the PC right now. So it's telling you to move the throttle up. I highly recommend you follow along exactly because if I move the throttle down now, uh, in the, in the, in, inside the game, it'll be inverted. So we're going to move the throttle up. Perfect. Now we can watch the quadcopter do accordingly to what we're doing. We're moving the throttle, which is perfect. So it's saying to center all the sticks and that's what we're going to do here. All right, next thing, what they're telling us to do is to move our pitch axes up. Perfect. There we go. And that's correct. I'm pitching up. The quadcopter is going up, pitching back. It's going back. So we recenter everything. And now it's asking us to do the roll axes. And now we're going to go ahead and roll to the right. Okay. Like I mentioned, follow along. So now you can check the quadcopter if it's uh, doing accordingly to what you're doing here. So I'm going to go ahead and center all my sticks again. 
And now what we're going to do is yaw to the right. Perfect. That is perfect. Now just go ahead and recenter all of them. So my throttle wasn't kind of centered correctly the first time, but that's fine. We could fix that up. You can just recalibrate or you can go to fine tune. Sometimes you'll find maybe your yaw just doing this a little bit. And if you find it doing that, all you got to do is just increase the dead band here and then it will be perfect. So I don't need to. Mine's perfect. Throttle, I kind of do. I would rather recalibrate it, but you can go ahead and set this up. Now, if something was inverted, you just click on invert on whatever it was. So, for example, if my uh, throttle was inverted, then I would just click invert here. And then it'll, it'll just re-invert it for you correctly. And, well, that's it, guys. So, let's jump back on the table and finish up. All right, guys. So, that is it. It's just that simple. You just make sure you use the multi we protocol on the software. Um, it'll work with any transmitter as long as it's configured into the quadcopter that you're flying or using and also just make sure that the receiver gets powered on with the USB and if it doesn't don't be scared you're gonna have to set up install a battery but please make sure your props are off because it'll still take input let's just say you accidentally armed it there you just cut your face off, off basically or your just hand or something so yeah, everything just works perfect. Hopefully you guys have a flight controller that automatically boosts the receiver with just the USB input and uh, you're good to go. No matter what it is, as long as it's set up in the beta flight, it'll work perfect. However, some uh, flight controllers, maybe F3 flight controllers, uh, they might have a bit of latency. I don't know. It depends on how much uh, of the resource or the CPU is running. This is obviously an F4 flight controller, so it's pretty quick and uh, it just handles beautiful. So that's all you need to do now. Just connect your quadcopter and you're set. You could just play with any simulator, any transmitter. It's just, it's insanely awesome. And Cleric, thank you so much. And you guys should leave comments down for him below. He's the one that created the software. He created all this. Uh, he'll be reading the comments. And um, yeah, just a huge shout out to you, Cleric. Great job again. And um, you've done more than you know for this community, especially myself. I'm using this stuff all day, every day now. It's so reliable, so fast, so not buggy which is pretty insane and, and it's just awesome great job and i really hope you guys show him some love also and uh please consider joining my patreon help me support this channel document everything and continue uh doing what i'm doing also you could also use the affiliate links down there uh they do greatly support the channel and please don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you next time see you guys take care